Eloy, he actually came. Couldn't stay away, huh? Just thought I'd check up on everyone. Mm hmm I heard he once raced a slaughter spine, just for fun. Think that's why he uses the mask? To cover the scars? What's everyone talking about? Red Teeth hasn't shown up to test a new track yet. Maybe he's scared he'll lose at this one. One of these days, his luck's gonna run out. And when I beat him, I'm gonna make him show me what's under that mask of his. You've never seen what he looks like. Last person who tried got beat up so bad, pretty sure something got knocked loose in there. It was a great bonding. Doesn't bother me. All that really matters is what you do on the track. For now, we start the race without him. Josek, make sure she gets him out if she needs one. Sounds like racing red teeth would be quite a challenge. Right, like you'd race fresh meat like you. So you win or what? I'm ready to race.
not bad for fresh meat, huh? Guess you might have a shot at winning against Red Teeth. Doesn't mean I won't beat you to it. You can try. Axe mentioned he found a new track up in Sky Clan territory, east of the Bulwark. You should come try it. If I'm gonna beat Red Teeth, might as well practice with a real racer. We'll see. If I'm up that way. Maybe. I'll make sure to sharpen my arrows. Aloy! You made it! I was hoping you'd show up. You'll be happy to know you have a special audience today. Oh yeah! Red T's coming, isn't he? Betty heard he's got some serious competition now. You win this race, maybe our reigning champion will be up for taking you on. Get her what she needs, will you, Hex? You got it. Ready to show us what you can do on that track? Let's race.
That's what I call a win. Here, let me know if you feel like giving it another go. Just for fun. Thanks. A fine win. I have to say, seeing such a rampage unleashed on the track was breathtaking. Oh, he speaks now. I came back to let the squad know I found a new track for us south of the desert. You might find it a bit more stimulating than what you've been doing. That is, if you're brave enough for the challenge. This coming from someone who won't even show his face? I'll show you my demons if you show me yours. On the track, of course. Oh, so we're racing now? Only if you hear the call. Wouldn't want you pointing that bow at me if you didn't mean it. I'll consider it. I'll see you on the track, then. Troubles go away when you're racing on that charger, don't they? Squad's not here yet. Red Deep insisted we raise a nightfall. You can wait by the campfire until they get here. Whoa! Now that's a track. You know I'm going out there to win. But if I don't, you better make sure you beat him for me. You got it. Good luck. The night begs for blood and machine oil. You ready to ride? Let's ride.
was a well-earned victory. One that merits speaking face to face. Nell? You have to admit, I put on a good show. Except for the part where you try to run me off the track. Our reunion with an old partner deserves more than a handshake, don't you think? We killed bandits together, Nil, For different reasons. I'm not sure we were partners. I am. Now more than ever. Especially since we've moved on to something even more entertaining. So... The mask, the armor... You knew the Tanakh would never let a Karja join a race. When I returned to the Forbidden West, I knew that walking the clan lands would attract as much blood as my bow could handle. And it did. But I realized that if I wanted to ride with the Tanakh, it wouldn't do to indulge in petty duels. I mean, you can't race with the dead. So you restrained yourself? S sort of. There's no restraint on the track. Who knows, though? One day, the mask may no longer be necessary. After all, everyone here knows me by the speed of my mount and the sting of my arrows. And the Tanakh to respect victory even more than they cherish their feuds. But for now, it keeps the children entertained. How are you even here? I won't bore you with the details. It's enough to say that you left Meridian a land of peace. And a man with a bow can go restless in such a place, so I traveled my old haunts for a while. You've been to the Forbidden West before? During the Red Raids, yes. I have fond memories of that campaign. I'm not sure fond is the word I'd use. I did what was acceptable at the time. Some might call it excess, but I think the Tanakh understood. They relish the kill, and grasp the need of it. That's a language we can both speak. I wish I could say you were wrong. So... Racing? Ah, yes. A surprise for me as well. By chance or fate, I found myself wandering the desert, thirsty for a thrill. And then I saw the riders. A glint of steel at high speed, metal haunches splashed with blood. I admit I was smitten. To ride the edge between life and death. Now that is a beautiful thing. I guess that's one way to describe it. You always said that the thrill of the kill was too sharp to deny. It's hard to believe you've left that life behind. I still hear the call, when the blood boils and the bowstring tightens. But then I race. The threat of every turn, each well-placed strike, the arrow that grazes the skin. It's a dance that holds death close, at the perfect distance, repeatable and therefore perpetual. And I get to share it with fellow riders who appreciate the flavor of blood and steel. It's enough to soothe a man's demons. I believe you know this, or else you wouldn't be here. I think my demons are slightly different from yours, Nell. I'm glad you found your thing, Nell. Relieved, actually. I think. Don't worry. Nothing will ever quite replace our partnership. I wasn't worried. You know... You could always join us. Live without the restraints of whatever narrow path you've carved out for yourself these days. Thank you for the offer, but I think I'm good. As expected. But you can always find me on the track if you need a release. And I promise to never go easy on you. I know that's supposed to mean something nice. So, um, thanks. Hey, Red Teeth! Stop hogging all the attention. Aloy, you want to celebrate with us too, right? I'll leave you to it. See you when you feel the need. So, you gonna tell us what's under the mask or what? 
Sorry, winners only. Worth a try. Don't celebrate for too long. Tracks don't race themselves, you know. Just try not to kill each other before I get there. Hey, Aloy. You won the big one? Don't forget to take your winnings. Left them in that chest for you. If you can beat Red Teeth, maybe there's still hope for me. Probably not. I always thought we were the only ones crazy enough to do what we do. I'm glad I was wrong. If you can be red, never thought there were this many ruins down here. Yeah, gives me the if creeps. You can be red teeth. Want me to hold you? If you can be red teeth, maybe there's still hope for me. Ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my request through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The Overseer has denied my request for a search party, and defying him would mean dismissal. Or worse. You think they might be alive? Horus has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read? It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is gone. Could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I, I'd like to keep it safe. For him. Of course. Must be the tower Joe mentioned. And it's full of sun wings. That can't be good. Cauldron that could teach me.
any scouts made it to that tower, I doubt the Sunwings up there missed them. I should check the place for survivors. Guess I'm climbing. Water ammo should do the trick. Yeah, but it's a... Dead end. Maybe if I go outside, I can find another way up. Nothing to 
see here? Oh, another close one. Scout. But there's only one way to be sure it's Jomar's brother. Better check for the relic. <sighs> the relic. And my focus picked up data on it. It's not a beacon, it's a tourist map of San Francisco. If the Quen could read this, they wouldn't need to send scouts out blind. I should tell Alva. Aloy! I'm here. Alva. I found some data I think Bohai might be interested in seeing. I'm sending it to you now. I'll pass it along. Thanks. I better take this relic back with me. Give it back to Jomar. Along with the bad news. By the looks of things. Whoever was with Horus must have met a similar fate. Rest of the scouting party. Looks like they were ambushed by machines. Horus must have escaped to the tower. Too bad machines got him there instead.
Chester. You've returned. Did you? I'm sorry. How did he die? The tower was a sunwing nest. He went in there looking for cover, but he was holding on to that when I found him. Horace. I read the data on it. It had a map that can help your people get the lay of the land without risking more scouts. All of us sharing it with Bohai right now. It's a good thing your brother protected it. I'd trade all the data in the legacy to have my little brother back. But I'm glad that something meaningful came from his death. As promised, you now have access to my weapon stock. If you bring me the right resources, I can make you anything you see there. Actually, why don't you give this a try? One of our best. And if it's of use, you know where to find more. Thank you. I'm really sorry for your loss. I know you are. And I'm grateful. Ancestor, my offer to provide you with weapons still stands. <laughs> 